Good morning, everyone. Trigon here. Welcome back to Growler's Farm. Farming Simulator 22. Don't forget, if you like uh, this video, tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. So Growler had a little drink of coffee here, and now we're going to get going. Oh, let's go feed the pooch. There we go. Um, so, goodness. I actually, there was, oh, you can see I, I did a lot of neatening up here. I don't think this was in the last video. It's just all, you know, I put in some nice fences and just made this all look nice. Um, you will notice that we're missing a building, our storage here. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute. But uh, I, I actually thought I had a great idea for uh, this episode. Uh, I thought, well, Growler, he's a dwarf. What are dwarfs like? Gold. Yeah, exactly. Growler got it on the first try. Gold. And this map has gold. So I thought, okay, we'll do an episode. We'll set stuff up and do gold. That sounds like a great idea. And then I looked at the prices. You know, the price of gold in the U.S. right now, actually, I checked yesterday, was a little over $2,000 an ounce. And when I check the price of gold here, uh, it is about $5,200 a ton. A ton. That's ridiculous. Yes, it's ridiculous. I mean, that should be like $50 million a ton. It should be about $50 million worth of gold. And uh, basically, I don't... We might have... No, I don't think we even have enough uh, uh, stones saved up, because I've been saving the stones from clearing that field. We might have enough to do one pallet of gold. It, it, all that work to make 10 grand, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to mess around with it. So we're going to go ahead and get started off here by uh, doing our daily chores, and then we'll uh, move on to more interesting stuff. Okay, so that's the morning routine mostly done. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's... Where do I want to put this guy? I think what I want to do is park him over here. Oh, and there's a new building. I actually... I was going to put... You notice the... the as I said, the building over there was gone. Eh, let's run into that building. So now we have this one here which is our new building for it's nicely it's more enclosed than the old one 
it's a new building for our harvesters and stuff. In fact, let's go ahead and hop in this one. Excuse me, excuse me. Let's get up this ladder here. There we go. And we'll get this guy going. Because it is barley harvesting time. I left this tipper out here right now because we still have beets in that cutter. Um, this field produces way more beets than we need, and I'm not sure what to do about that yet. <laughs> um, I didn't mean to come all the way over here. Uh, let's go back to the other side. So I create the route, it's going to want me to start on the bottom left. Oh, and you notice I did shorten this field a little bit because uh, it, when the machines were working this field, they were cutting into that field, which um, I thought would be okay, but apparently they're not lifting their equipment properly. So they're actually uh, um, destroying part of our sugar crop. And you know, I, just, I just said that we're making more uh, sugar beets than we need, but... At the same time, I really hate that. <laughs> it just offends me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I shortened this field so that there's space between them uh, so it can work properly. Okay, oh, and I need to copy this. There we go. Yeah, don't try to empty into that tipper, please. Okay, now... Let's see, we left this over here. Um, I did work on auto drive. Let's see if I can get auto drive to do this. Um, open the auto drive window. Okay, now we want to, uh, wait, was that combine right there? Unload combine. So this would be field one is this field one to silo unload i think i figured out no harvester in the same oh right right uh, i gotta jump around here sorry about this there we go in order to make this work you gotta make sure that your harvester there we go is showing the same field as your tipper so yeah, it's it's really interesting. I had to go through and do a tutorial on auto drive. I don't think I'd ever used auto drive before. I think I tinkered with it a little, little bit in FS19, but it's almost like uh, setting up uh, train tracks. The routes for auto drive are just like permanent routes, and you interconnect them. So you're basically you, what you're doing is you're defining where the roads are and where the stop points are. So I have a stop point right here for this field, and I set both the harvester and the tipper for that uh, uh, stop point. And then there's a route that runs down here and to the silo, and then, of course, right back up again. So he should be able to do that okay. I think uh, a course play would be okay now, too, because of how we changed everything, but we'll let Auto Drive do it and see how that goes. All right, so the next thing... So you'll notice it's actually a month early, but I'm sort of out of sorts. This should not be ready until July, but it is because reasons. <laughs> but I bought this next uh, uh, lot of property here and ran our grass field all the way to the far property line. This is now our biggest field because I wanted to get back into doing silage. But I'm sort of tired of doing the bales. I think it's inefficient. There's there's things we can do to actually improve our yield and everything. Uh, oh, and by the way, I think doing this once is going to be more than enough for a year of grass. Right now, I think I have four years worth of grass sitting in storage. <laughs> so I went and looked. We used to have, in FS19, we had uh, the fermenting silo that we used. Uh, and I liked that. And so I looked, and there are a couple of different things that we can use here. Actually, let's back up a bit. I don't want to be in the way here. Um, the first one that we're not going to use, so they're both in productions, 
the first one is right here. It's uh, a grass drying uh, uh, barn, which is pretty cool. You put grass in one end and you can have it either make uh, um, uh, hay, which would be great, except we don't really need hay at the moment, or you can have it make uh, uh, um, silage. Uh, but I like this other one better. I just have to find it now. Where is it? Did I pass it already? Yeah, I did. Right here. I like this one. More sort of industrial looking one. Looks more appropriate for the job it's doing. But this one here uh, does the same thing. It requires straw to uh, make hay for some reason. Just a tiny amount of it. But it ends up making a, a sort of a bonus amount of hay. Now, like I said, we don't really need hay right now, so I'm not terribly worried about that, but I like it. So you can see on the left side here, we've got the tipper point. That's one thing I like. It's the nice tipper point. We also have uh, uh, the uh, two, two bigger silos here. The three little ones are incoming materials. The two bigger ones are the outgoing silage. And all the hay and straw is done inside. The, the, the one on the right here, that, that more silvery pipe, is the output for, uh, uh, for hay. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this right here. Oh, and another thing, you notice I built this divider into here. And, you know, obvious pushes back. One of the reasons I needed to move that building or to get rid of the, the building we had here is now that we're going this way up and down the field, my equipment was hitting... The stuff here <laughs> sitting like the trees and the side of the uh, the supports for the building and uh, stuff in the building and all of that and that was causing problems uh, I also one problem I'm running into is that this guy right here doesn't produce hardly anything uh, so I found I actually found an industrial bakery uh, actually can I find it here so I can show you. I can't build it right now because it won't fit in the space, which means I need to rearrange this. And this is still full of sugar. Even though I still have a lot of beets sitting up here, this thing is still full of sugar from last year's harvest. <laughs> oh, let's see. Grape processing, that, that, carpentry. Dairy, spinnery, this is it. Industrial bakery. So yeah, so you see, it's it's nice. It's an industrial building. It, it looks more appropriate to what's going on here uh, than, than what we're doing. Uh, I don't know where the drop-off and stuff for this is. But anyways, I, I, I can't put it right here. I, I could turn it this way and maybe I could fit it in. But then it would be, it would be really in the way. I want to turn it this direction. And, and do that. If necessary, I could turn this the other way. That would be less of a problem. But I think I could just move this over. I think there's enough room. I could just move this over. Uh, might need to park the truck somewhere else, but I probably should find a, a garage, build a garage somewhere to park that truck in. But uh, that's another thing I want to do, but it's not going to get done today. So now we've got this. Um... And my goal is, like I said, I want to get rid of the balers. So this, our multi-silo here, will hold just regular grass for us. So we can switch to using this to storing our grass for feeding the animals instead of baling them and putting it down in the warehouse down here. Uh, might be, well, it's not going to be it really any big of a problem. We'll pick up a, a barley, drop it off, come back pick up grass, drop it off, come back. So I think we'll be okay there. Um, that's a pretty quick trip. I don't mind doing it. But uh, here's what we're going to do here. I'm not going to get rid of that stuff yet. One, let's come back out here. I want to get a new tractor. Well, because I can. <laughs> not for any, you know, particularly good reason. Just because I can. Uh, let's see. Let's get something nice. I don't I want something nice and powerful. I don't know if I need anything quite this big. <laughs> Let's back off about this guy. Uh, I would like something I could have three point on the front. I don't need a tremendous amount of power. I want something big so it doesn't have trouble pulling. 
about this thing. Yes, and I'm particularly looking at the class ones on purpose. And I don't... I don't need tracks. Okay, fine. We'll go down to this one. <laughs> we'll get its biggest engine, though. Okay. So we're going to go with that. So there's our new tractor. And now we're going to get... A forage wagon. And I am going to get, I think... Is that being dumb here? That holds 50. This holds 44. Now they don't make a big difference. I'm going to get this one. And you see this one here has silage additives tank. And so we're going to go ahead and grab that. And... Yeah, I think that's all. I don't think that'll do anything to the straw. I think we can use this for picking up the straw, too, and that might make things a little bit easier for delivering straw. We can just use the big tipper for that. Because um, right now, it takes me like four trips to deliver all our straw bales. <laughs> it's one of the biggest nuisances, and we don't make a ton of money off it, but I don't want it, you know, just waste the straw. Um, so we've got this all set. We are going to need... Um, Come here to pallets. We need the additive right here. The bond silage. Silage additive. And we're going to go ahead and get a few of them so I don't have to come back again. I will have to go and pick those up with the truck later on. But I am going to teleport around now. He seems to be doing his job okay. I don't know why he's clear over here, but whatever. Um, there we go. We found our new tractor. It's cool. Our new class tractor. <clears throat> Not as powerful as our biggest one, but still pretty good. And all it really needs to do is pull this. That's what I wanted it for. And I wanted a nice class tractor to go with our class... Uh, Thingy. I don't know if the other ones... Here, I, I'm curious. How stupid am I being with this? Do, do these other ones have the additive? Yeah, these other ones have the additive too. I could have gone with one of these bigger ones, but I like this class one. I like the class colors. <laughs> so I'm sort of sticking with them. So you can see one pallet is plenty so I'm figuring four of us should four of them should last us a long time uh, and if I start running low I can just uh, I can just uh, uh, um, pick some up when I come up delivering stuff all right we're just gonna cut through here uh, I actually I canceled the copy on the uh, on the other thing on the harvester so I could copy this route because we need it first before the other one so now we can cancel that copy because we've already got it on this tractor now um, I think we'll let the mower get a little bit further ahead I don't want to get this started too soon we'll leave that right there for now uh, the uh, oh good he is I was wondering if he was going to go deliver. I saw him just sitting on the field with a full load. Let's just watch him do his thing for a second here. So the silage additive. I did some testing on that. And it seems to increase your, um, your grass harvest by about 10%. Uh, so that's a good chunk extra. Which is one main reason why I decided to do this. Because... You know, one, if I'm going to get back into silage, I wanted a, a better way to do it than the than the bales. But using this additive and getting an extra 10%, now, and now that we have this great big huge field, that's going to mean a lot of extra silage and a lot of extra money. All right, so where am I? There was something else I was going to tell you, and now I've forgotten what it was. And I meant to mention it earlier and forgot what it was, or forgot about it. Oh dear. Um, I 
guess he's just doing his thing and we I was talking so we missed him driving back I guess right now see normally the grass harvest would be going on in July it would not be going on right now oh, he's all set we can go ahead and start this one going so I do like that that copy ability uh, it, it, it we used to have the stored routes and I used to use that but this works out even better really well maybe not better it, it, the stored routes were a pain on multiplayer because everybody shared the same stored routes so you would have a great big list of everyone's routes um, speed wise it looks like they're running about the same speed so that's good actually let's hop around here a bit you're running at about nine miles an hour. And you're running, well, you're running at 11 miles an hour. So he's running just a little bit faster. I could slow him down if I wanted to. But uh, we'll leave that go for right now. And hopefully he won't catch up. Hopefully it's close enough that it won't happen. And he's going to have to get emptied too. How close are we to needing to empty this guy? One row was just about half. Yeah, 51% 50, by the time we got to the end there. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Two rows. When he gets back, I'm going to have to empty him. And we will go ahead then and see how this is going. I wish I could remember what the other thing was I wanted to mention. There was something else that was similar to the extra 10% thing there. I don't remember what it was. You can see money is not an issue at the moment. I could buy the entire map if I wanted to. <laughs> I looked at other things possibly we could get into. Lumber is interesting, but just a fiddly mess. Um, and I, I, I just, you know, at some point I'm thinking maybe I'll do a lumber, uh, like when I can afford to get the uh, uh, platinum pack, the platinum expansion. I'll do a lumber series where we'll do like the map that came with the platinum edition and, and just do lumber is just, that will be that series instead of farming. Um, which I guess will make this, um, lumberjack simulator. <laughs> I never quite understood why lumber was such a, you know, big chunk of this game. Um, But uh, let's see. So I don't want to do that. The gold was just out. I could build us our own biogas plant and uh, make money off our silage that way. But I don't really want to. I want to just sell the silage. Oh, needs to be unloaded. Yep, I didn't even... It, he didn't even make it to the end of the row. And I didn't even make it to the end of my thought. you and you have stopped so now we don't need to worry about feeding the animals we've got a ton of grass for that so probably the next three years i'm going to be able to devote all of the grass from that field to making silage all right so we'll unload this oh and while this is unloading let's come around here and i'll show you so there's a little status display here and you can see the grass silo I, I assume that the straw is being held inside since there's only three silos and there's not a lot of straw um, there's a grass silo there's a chaff silo and there's uh, a hay silo so <clears throat> and of course there's the straw storage somewhere or maybe the straw is stored there and the hay is stored in the building I don't know uh, that probably makes more sense and uh, then as it processes it, it'll move, silage will move to here, and hay will move to here. And it actually shows in this little display, which I think is just absolutely great. But we are going to have to turn this thing on. And this is, you know, a regular production facility. So it's right here along with all our other production facilities. And we are going to make um, grass silage. So there we go. You can see there's plenty of storage room in here. So that's not going to be a big deal. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this storage is really large. 
I suppose if the storage starts getting full, we can always move it into the regular silo. I think I can put silage into there. And this... Yeah, it's already set for nearest waypoint, so all I need to do is turn around and get it started. All right, I guess I'll just continue with this harvest and uh, bring you guys back when we're done. All right, I take back what I said earlier. It's definitely more of a pain in the ass than just doing bales. <laughs> I was going to say, the sad thing is that there is no baler, no round baler at least, that uh, has the additive. There are square balers that do it. Um, but I don't see the point of doing square bales if you're going to wrap them because it's just then a slow two-step process because the only way to do that is to use a separate wrapper. So then you have to take all your bales and one at a time wrap them. Oh, the turning radius in this thing really sucks. Barely made that turn. Uh, which makes it impossible for me to automate delivery at all. Not that I can you know, combine anything to have it, have it uh, harvest and then automate. But, um, after, after thinking about that, I looked and there was a mod I added for a fast baler. I said, oh good, this just gives me another fast baler I can uh, choose from. Um, and it's sort of a, it, it, it's, it's a, it, well, it's a lizard one, you know, one of the default game brands uh which means that you can colorize it however you want which well, that's great i can make it match my equipment which obviously i like for some strange reason <laughs> that's gonna have to be emptied in about two jerks um and that's pretty cool it does have the additive on it i didn't realize it when i got it but i just happened to look at it and went oh this one has the additive also noticed hang on let's go in here and look at these I had never looked at these two balers right here. These are weird balers. Look at the the bale arrangement on this. And they almost look like they're fast balers too. I'm going to have to take these into a sandbox and test them out. Uh, I'd never noticed the, you know, the, the, the weirdness. I don't think they're fast balers, but they're definitely different. I want to see what they look like. But, uh, all right, here's the thing I had forgotten about earlier. If we're going to put in that industrial bakery, which is going to greatly increase our output on cake, um, we're going to run out of milk. Because these 200 sheep just barely produce enough milk to keep the bakery and this running. Now, I honestly don't need this running as much as it is, but I don't you know how know how i would throttle that i suppose if it's distributing evenly it wouldn't really matter you know that's a possibility the other thing i was thinking about is as i could now that we're uh, doing a large amount of uh, um, silage again and we're doing it in in a mass form instead of uh in a loose form instead of uh bales I could get some cattle. Uh, I have not done cattle in 22. In 19, I decided that they were not worth it because they were just a lot of work and you didn't get much for your work. The milk just was not worth all the effort. But maybe it's something we should actually take a look at. Let's go ahead. I want to keep my animals all together here. So let's buy this plot of land and then we'll come down here, construction, animals, and we get this cow barn with feeding robot. And I'm thinking if we put it like, let's say, ooh, no, that's going to, that's not going to work. I, was, I thought this would be a good location because we could then run the road. Oh, no, that would work because we don't have to back into this this area on the left. Hang on, I'll place this and then I'll show you. Let's put it right there. Okay, I'll come back and do roads on it in a minute. But uh, here's what the little robot goes into. We can also drive in here to manually 
put uh, cattle in or to put food and stuff in and it's where we get, where we drop off the bedding as well but here's where the robot is over here and all you do is you dump your grass or is that hay I'll have to check uh, your straw and your silage and then the robot actually mixes it and he'll come out of here I guess I can't open that one. He'll come out of here, drive around, and go in here and feed them. So all you actually have to do is just keep dropping stuff off here for him to do his thing. So let's go ahead and fix our blacktop here so it's all the way. <clears throat> okay, let's line up on this. I want to... Keep this straight. That looks right. Okay. So paint. Okay, so that looks good. Actually, I don't like that very much. Let's do... Well, I didn't really want to do that either. All right, that works. And then here we'll go ahead and do this. I could have just um, I think that works. Oh, for goodness sakes. I'm trying to keep this straight. And it's not cooperating with me. <laughs> uh, actually, no. Let's use this. No, that's not the right one. Is it this one? I'm trying to find the one that matches. That's not it. No, this is, this is the wet here. You know what the heck with it. We'll just use this. Well, that is the right one. The one down here on the water's edge is different. I don't know what that is. Okay, so we've got a little road there. Uh, I'll neaten all this stuff up later. This is the robot's path. That's why I wanted to sort of leave that with its weird little gravelly bit. Um, although, you know what? I, I just realized I'm going to want to drive past here. So we'll do our road right here. Yeah, we'll just replace this all with pavement, the hell of it. There, we can leave that alone. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Go ahead and do that. And then we'll do this. That's good actually sort of want even though it is probably not going to look as good I want this to sort of follow the lake shore a little bit better there and we'll leave that little triangle there maybe I'll put a little curb around that like I did this this curb if, I don't know if you noticed the curb that uh, I have in that little courtyard area that we did before. It's right here. It's just like the fence. Except that uh, it's a curve. Angle too large. I gotta do this, okay. Angle too large. It still doesn't like that angle. Okay. Uh, why did you leave a little dot there? Oh. Well, that's weird. Yeah, the heck with it. It's not going to look right. I'll just leave that there like that for now. And then, let's see what we'll do here. I had that lined up and I screwed it up, didn't I? Yes, we will go ahead... 
and we'll go ahead and grab this. And let's run this right along. Right along that there. And then we can go ahead and extend our road. Right over there. That was not quite how I wanted that. There we go. And I do have a treaty, a couple of trees to get rid of, but there we go. So we got our cow barn right here next to everything else. Well, we are going to need to be able to get over here if we want to get our uh, slurry. That's right, I forgot. We'll have slurry and we'll have manure. Although I think to get manure, I've got to put a manure pile somewhere. Let's see here. Um, silos. I think it's in silos. Manure heap. Liquid manure tank. So bunker silos. No, I think that's the only one. I think this is it, the manure heap. We'll put it right there at the end of that road. Alright, so now let's actually turn on zone markers because I don't know where anything is on this. Here's our animal thing right here. All right, so now the cattle is a little bit different. This is a breed for producing milk. Uh, this is another milk breed. The Holsteins are the ones I'm used to. I think these are the two meat breeds. Uh, yeah. So we have a choice between a calf let's see so this one's not quite old enough to reproduce but it's almost old enough and then these are old enough to reproduce so this is what we're gonna get we're gonna get some of these I do not want 60 <laughs> um, Maybe I should just get 60. It's only 100,000. We'll do it. And I think that's all this. Oh, this will hold 80. So it'll hold 10 more. 20 more. Can you count? No. There. Okay, so we've got this thing maxed up now. What's this over here? Oh, this is the milk. You can see right here. It's the little uh, pasteurizer, I presume. Or a separator, maybe. It, that's an interesting thing. We should be getting cream, too. I remember uh, my grandpa. Now, my grandpa just had a few cows. Uh, well, both both my grandpas were farmers. Or actually, all three, I had a step-grandpa. My step-grandpa is the only one that I ever got to actually spend any time on his farm. Uh, my, my father's father died long before I was born. And uh, my mother's... Uh, parents uh, had sold their farm and were retired by the time I came along. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, he had a little uh, separator down in the basement of the house. Or actually, it was a root cellar. It wasn't a basement. Um, um, and uh, he'd go and milk the cows, and he'd bring the milk in and put it in the separator. And the they would separate out the cream from the milk. And then... Uh, grandma would take the cream and make butter. So, pretty cool. Anyways, this is all set up. Now, let's get rid of you. Oh, I figured out the, what puts the destroy tree on is uh, turning on super strength. <laughs> you turn on super strength, 
then you can just get rid of the trees like that. So let's go ahead and jump around for a minute here. Oh, that was what I wanted. There we go. Okay. And we are going to go ahead and grab... Where is it? Way at the back. We're going to go ahead and grab straw. First off. Oh, and that did say, hang on a second here. Uh, let's look at this. No, it was in the animal thing. I'm going to have to go back and look at it. I'm pretty sure that said that they need... Uh, I should have gone that direction. Pretty, I'm pretty sure it said that the cows need hay, not grass. But I will double check that before we put anything in it. I really don't need to put any grass in it at all. What I need to do is put in the stuff for the TMR. I just need to check the recipe on the TMR. I did put some straw in the, what you call it, so it can make... Um, hay and like I said because it uses a small amount of straw mixed in you actually end up getting uh, uh, no <laughs> oh this sucks yeah I may need to get myself a different tipper for this I mean I can use the uh, I can use the um, forage harvester for it because it it has the pusher back. Oh, the big one is a pusher back, isn't it? It doesn't tip up. Maybe I should be using the big one for this. I was thinking I would get more out of this than that. Let's go this direction. So this would be handy because this is a nice shortcut around to where our uh, all our stuff is. Now, the other thing I was thinking about, this is going to take me a while to do, I don't think we'll get done, we're already over time on this. The other thing I was thinking about, uh, I was saying earlier how we, we just have too many sugar beets. We have way more sugar beets than we actually need. So, what I was thinking is, um, what if, instead of planting sugar beets in that field every year, what if next year I plant corn? Uh, and we can either get a chaff harvester and, you know, get make it into chaff. Or we can uh, harvest the corn. And then all we need is uh, to plant oats in one of our other fields. And set ourselves up a vineyard so we can do raisins. And then we could do cereal. <laughs> so I think I might work on doing that. I, I know I was saying I wasn't going to be adding a bunch of extra stuff, but uh, this seems like this seems like worth trying out. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Well, that's all the silage I have available right now to put in there. But there we go. That's in. I am going to go ahead and finish getting our cattle all set up. And we'll see how the milk production goes on that. We should have plenty of milk at that point. I don't know how the milk production goes from the cattle compared to the sheep. I would think it would be a lot better because the cattle are a lot harder to do than the sheep. So you would think that the sheep's milk production would be a lot lower. But we will see. But, like I said, I'm out of time for today. Uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, finish doing all of this. Actually, let's park this out of the way for now. I'm going to finish doing all of this. And then uh, when we come back, we'll look at maybe I can get that factory in. Well, I'll try to probably get that uh, factory bakery in as soon as I can get the beets all emptied out of the sugar uh, factory. Um, 
and we'll just see how the rest of this is going and uh, and go from there. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.